Good morning, everyone. It's Carrie Bramley, physio and Pilates instructor here. So I have some people who are unable to attend my class because of the pandemic. So I'm going to try every week and upload what we've been doing through the week. It might not be a full class, but it'll be the technique side of things. Okay. So that so that everyone can keep going. So remember Gold Core 1 and Gold Core 2, Gold Core 29, and I think it's Gold Core 31, are all full class layouts. Okay. And then, um, yeah, so we'll see how we go. All right. Now, what we've been working on, because it's the beginning of the year again, and the thing is, and what I've realized with me is my legs are very strong now. You know, this was my week one from my back injury. But what I mean by very strong is my hip flexors and my adductors do a lot of stabilizing. So do my hamstrings. So I've got to try and switch those off. So... What I want to work on today is go through what we did in our classes this week. There's this principle in Pilates where we go breathe in, breathe out, draw in the belly button, move. Except I say to people, pull in, because I, this draw in people just don't get <laughs> Um, anyway, right, so the thing is, that is actually the order that we need to do everything in. So when we do our backwards arms, when we do our single leg lifts, that's what we're really going to concentrate on today. And then we're going to try and bring that in with every single thing that we do. Okay, and we'll just see how far we get. All right. So we might not get through all the exercises. So remember, there are lots of other ways. Uh, I've got lots of other videos uploaded. Remember, they're free. Please just subscribe. Press all so that you can access all <clears throat> and share them. It's just to help people. Okay, this is what's helped me. That's what I'm teaching. Okay. I'm going to do the hamstrings with the belt and we're going to do the hamstrings and quads, the other hamstrings and quads and kneeling. So um, if you if you can't do that and you, and you want to use a chair, that's fine. All right. just getting my feet sorted because I really want that alignment now okay weight bearing shoulders back and down breathe in breathe out pull in we're softening breathe in breathe out pull in lower Roll and reach. Breathe in. Breathe out. Draw in. Chest up. To push up. So I am being quite particular about that order which is why I'm slowing everything down which is why I'm not sure how many of these exercises we'll get through okay I'll just come like this so we've been going wider with our feet on the mat 
to try and switch the adductors off, okay? And I'll do it like this so that you can see the breathing again. Ah. Okay, so here we go. This is what we've been working on this week. Breathe in. Breathe out, pull in. Shoulders back and down to come up. Breathe in. Breathe out, pull in first. Then move. Breathe in. Breathe in here. Breathe out, pull in. Shoulders back and down. Chin tucked in. I lost much in there. Breathe in. Breathe out, pull in. So we've slowed it right down to that. Okay. Now there are some people in my class who are really battling with their feet because I'm trying to get them to take the energy out of the legs. So I'm just going to lie the other way and I'm just going to show you what we've been doing for them. Okay. This is, <laughs> this is me trying to analyze movement patterns and help people to switch them off okay so it's my clinical stuff coming into the pilates so i'm just going to go this way i'll just do this so to switch those legs off have them straight because it's the hip flexors, have them straight and have them wide. It's the hip flexors and the feet on the floor that grip, okay? So the pointing of the toes. When you're pointing your toes, you're stabilizing with your calf muscles, okay? So this is what I'm making them do, like this. And I'm, I'm asking them to bring their toes up like that so that they're not pointing. Okay, and then they're going. Breathe in. Breathe out, pull in. Shoulders back and down. Chin tucked in to move. Breathe in. Breathe out, pull in. Breathe in. Breathe out, pull in. Breathe out, pull in. Breathe in. Breathe out, pull in. Shoulders back and down. Breathe out, pull in. Okay. So, when we're doing these, we shouldn't feel a whole lot of work happening in our legs. If you can feel a whole lot of work happening in the, your legs, you're using your legs. I want you to really get the core. Okay. All right. So we're going to go back the other way so that you can see. So you can either do 
legs wide, okay, bent, legs straight, okay, just whatever suits you, this is just what we've been doing, because there's so many people who are still battling with cramping in their feet, and that sort of stuff, okay, right, so here we go, now with the rest of the abs, so the key thing you see with the arms is if you just, if you don't get your breathing, so say I'm breathing out here, pulling in, I am pulling in, pulling in, but then I run out of breath and I just come to here, I think, oh, well, I'll just finish my arms and I'll come to here. You land up arching and the thing is when you arch, you're stabilizing with your upper back. And that's the other thing I'm really trying to get, is that we unlock these thoracic spines, okay? So to do that, we've really got to get the movement in the shoulder, not the upper back, okay? <clears throat> and here we go. Breathe in. Breathe out, pull in. Chin tucked in. Breathe in. Breathe out, pull up. Breathe out, pull in, shoulders back and down. So it's still shoulders. And when you hear reaching. So really working that shoulder blade, okay, that's, that's what frees up the arm and the shoulder, okay. Right, we'll go again, and this time we're going our straight elbows. Here we go, breathe in, breathe out, pull in. So from here, go straight up us. So I can feel it here. So now we come back, breathe in, breathe out, pull in. So with the straight elbows, don't worry how far you go. In fact, with all of these, don't worry how you go. Just really concentrate here. Because there are some people who have shoulder neck things in my class. And if we concentrate on the core, 
by the end of this lesson, their shoulder has freed up. So it's not about getting the range, it's about the breathing and the core. Okay. So we're going to come up this time and we're just going to come close to the close closer up with the arms. Okay. Right. Here we go. Breathe in, breathe out, pull in. Get the chin tuck, get the reach. Breathe in, breathe out, pull in. So I'm coming closer in. Just stop there because that's such an important part here because the thing is you see what I used to do from here is I used to do that and that's what I don't want you to do because then you're never gonna win with your shoulder and your neck okay so we go back here so this is a critical part and if you can't go any further don't So we'll just come out and around with straight arms once, out and around with bent arms once, because these are just things that you can practice, okay? But I just want you to get the breathing, okay? So we haven't even really worried what we've done with the arms, just really been concentrating on this. That's why I've left the start stretches out, because there's a whole lot of other technique I have to teach you there. Maybe I'll do that next week. Okay, so here we go. Still hands close. So to straighten to come out, you go straight. So here, you don't want to be bending your elbows like that. That's bent elbows, okay. We want straight, we want to get the nerves and the tendons stretched out or mobilized. Okay, here we go again. So now shoulders back and down. And I go really slowly through here. You see, that's even bent. 
straight because you want to stretch all those structures okay now the bent is to get peak minor here okay so here we go chin tucked in breathe out pull in reach a little bit there so I've got to correct that breathe in breathe out pull in reach so I still go straight elbows coming around here To 90 and then I'm gonna bend now if your hand is here it's just because you can't get the shoulder back and down it's the shoulder back and down that brings your hand back don't try and force it down work from the shoulder blade okay so just keep working that shoulder back and down as you free up and as you get stronger with that, you'll be able to bring your hand to here. Okay. All right. Here we go. Breathe in. Breathe out, pull in. Okay, right, so that's how we've been doing our single leg, uh, backwards arms. So I'm going to do our single leg lifts, and I'm going to do them sideways to start with, okay, so that you can see my core. <clears throat> but then if you don't mind, I'm going to have my legs to you, because our leg positioning is hugely important in terms of switching off those stabilizers in our legs, okay? What we do with our feet, the position with our legs, and that's what we're trying to do. Because if you are using your leg muscles, you are also then gonna switch off your core, okay? So uh, this has been a really big lesson for me <laughs> and that's why I'm trying to be quite specific. This is going to irritate me with my mat, so just give me a moment. I think what we might do today is just go through the single leg lifts now. And then the pec stretches. So I'm not even going to go through the hamstrings because I just want you to get this technique. Okay. I know that those of you who, yeah, okay, right. <clears throat> oh, okay. Yeah. So we'll do this. So you see. If you bring your leg in like that, okay, you're using your hip flexors and your groin. So what I want to try and do is think more like that. If you point, 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 point the whole time, you're using your calf muscles, okay, to stabilize. So that's why, that's why we've started wider and also we're trying to stop you pushing in to the mat to stabilize right 
So I said I'd come side on first so that you can see the breathing. So I'll do that and then I'll turn around and show you the leg positionings that we've been doing. Okay. So you know I get down like this now, but we're supposed to do this here. Eh? Right. I'm strong enough in my core to do that now, but really try and make it a habit you go on your sides. Okay. So I'm already tuning in here to what's happening. So if I feel my hip flexors working here or pop up even before my core, then I'm using my legs and not my core. So I'm really trying to, to tune into that because that's a bad movement. That's a, a bad habit that I got into. I think when my leg was really weak, but I think a lot of us do it at any rate. So we're trying to really work on the correct movement patterns, okay, and try and turn those into better movement patterns. Okay, so here we go. I'll have my hand here, and this one maybe here, so that you can see. Okay, breathe in, chin tucked in, shoulders back and down, breathe in. Breathe out, pull in. Then move. Breathe in. Breathe out, pull in. Then move. Okay, and until you've got that foot, in its correct position. I might just go back a fraction. Okay, so here we go. didn't get that right because I can feel it in the leg. I'm just going to go back like this so that I can just get my brain. Okay, here we go. Breathe in. Breathe out. Pull in. It's okay on that side. Okay, here we go. Breathe out, pull in. So you'll notice this is my weak, my weak diagonal kinetic chain, it's called. I had to really work that shoulder back and down so that I could take those muscle, that muscle work out of it. Okay, so I might do this for this time so that you can see how to do that.
Okay, so I'll come side on. So when I do this at home, this is how I'm doing it now. Because the thing is, if I can do them properly and with the correct movement pattern, it's actually so much better for my body. So I'm not rushing through the exercises anymore. <laughs> and that's why I'm looking at the time and thinking, we'll just go... And this is how I do it. So I don't think, oh, I haven't done the spine stretches. I haven't done. Because each day I might do slightly different. I might emphasize something slightly differently. So that I do get through all those things. But I just don't rush. So that I don't get through the whole thing. I'm really, from, and it's made such a difference to my soft tissue. And to my pain. So that's what I'm saying to my, my, my people is that you know, most of them have come in because they haven't been able to get rid of pain. That's the key thing. So, you know, there's no point in just doing the exercises just for the sake of doing the exercises when you're like that. You've just really got to concentrate on the correct movement patterns and then building and building and building, okay, the correct movement patterns. That's the key thing. If you can get the correct movement patterns, then everything will start unraveling. All right, so I'm just going to show you the leg positionings. So I say to my people, try and think of it like a frog, and you'll notice that I'm going to take my feet off the ground. So I'm not pushing down because otherwise I use my calf muscles. So I'm just like that, just a little bit off. Wide legs, breathe it, breathe out, pull in. Two rays. Breathe out, pull in. Lost my shoulder, breathe in. Okay, so hopefully you can see the legs and hopefully you could also see the muscle work there. You could also see every now and again, I was just flopping my foot. I'm really trying to tune in everything from the tips of my fingers to the tips of my toes so that I can actually be using my core and switching off all my other extra stabilizing things. Okay. Right, so let's do the peg stretch now, just lying on our backs, because this is the next thing that I want you to work on. And this is just something I've picked up just recently with me. I'm gonna go back this way. So what I was doing with my pig stretch 
is when I was turning, I was arching like this. Okay, and the thing is, when you arch like that, you're using a muscle called quadratus lumborum that sits about here. And I could feel that actually kicking in. And, and of course, it's mostly painful. So that's what I realized. I realized, oh my gosh, I'm using my QL to stabilize. So I had to rethink my core. Okay. So that's also with this, why I don't anymore. I don't bring the legs up and turn like this. As soon as you're doing that, you're using your hip flexors. And then what are you going to use to stabilize here? You've got to have a really strong core to do that. So for me, the feet are on the ground, not tucked up like this. Otherwise, you're using your hamstrings. So here, further. Okay. So for me, I've got to go shoulder back and down. Breathe out, pull in. Chin tucked in. I'm just letting that settle because I can feel it stretch in my arm a little bit. And then move. So what I'll do is I'll do it correctly, incorrectly, correctly, so that you can see. Okay. And you can see I haven't got my arm right out here anymore. I've brought it down a little bit. So I've got a pull in from here, but I'm turning left. Because, okay, we'll go back. So that was the correct movement. Now I'm going to go incorrect. Like that. Can you see that? That's what I used to do. Because I was so intent on getting the legs to the floor, I am keeping my shoulder back and down. But I've got to, I'm stabilizing like anything here. Okay. That's what I'm trying to get away from now. So, breathe out, pull in. Chin tucked in. Shoulder back and down. Legs not too close. Breathe out, pull in from the ribs to get the obliques. Now, I've just gone from pointed toes to here because I could feel my left leg trying to stabilize. So, I've just switched that off. And that's as far as I'm going to go at this stage. Okay. So, now I'm going palm up and palm down. There we are. I can go a little bit more. Okay. So my legs are down. So you see, I'm just not worrying about that right now. Okay. See, I lost my shoulder. Try and get that shoulder back and down. So when I bring that shoulder back and down, this is my really um, restricted movement. When I bring that shoulder back and down, I can feel it in my neck at the back. Okay. So the thing is, if you're always just going to be doing it like this, you're not going to influence what's happening 
further away. Okay, I mean that is getting the palm down, but that's not the correct movement pattern. So here we go, breathe in, breathe out, pull in, shoulder back and down, breathe in, Breathe out. I'm going to go one more. Breathe in. Breathe out. Pull in. Shoulder back and down. Now I'm going to hold this position for my neck movements. Here I go. Breathe in. Breathe out. Pull in. Shoulder back and down. To turn. Now we're going to go the chin tuck. So I'm going to do some like this and there's some like that, okay? So just each time, just get that positioning. Breathe out, pull in, shoulder back and down. Then chin tuck, push back. So I haven't even gone straight leg for today, okay. I just want you to really get this breathing and all these other movements, okay. We can bring all the other things in as we go. Here we go. Breathe out, pull in. We go the other way. You might see I've been able to bring my legs a little bit further and that's what happens is if you can do all these things correctly you will start unraveling this body. Okay, right, so let's see how that goes, and let me know, okay, well 
We're finished with our standing row ten. Get that weight through the base of the big toe. You see, mine was on the outside of the foot. There's no point in me carrying on with that. I've got to correct that. My shoulder. That's still not right. Hopefully that'll help some of you. Okay, so just remember these videos are free, but I'd like you to subscribe, click all so that you can access all and share so that people can start getting better. Okay, this, these, this technique is what's made such a big difference to my body and my pain. Okay, have a great day everyone.